I don't think I'm going to start a new run right now. I just want to look at the... Uh... Oh, excuse me. And just sort of look over and consider what classes we might want to run. Is there anything, like, I recently unlocked? I don't think we unlocked anything on that run. But yeah, all of the warrior classes I've played with a fair bit by now. I've won with Berserker and Bulwark before, so I'm probably not going to do those. Arcane Blade, I think we tried enough of that. I think we've got a big, yeah, good enough taste of the Arcane Blade by now. Archer is really strong, but I've played it a fair bit. Brawler's fun, but we did that already on stream. Could do a Rogue. It's been a long time since i played the Rogue. They've been completely redone in uh, one, of, one of the more recent patches to not the Forbidden Cults update, but like the like one or two updates before that. Oh yeah, Marauder and Skirmisher. I forget. Oh yeah, this was the, swing, the Sling and Shield one. This one was... Have I not done Marauder before? It's a dual wielder. Sturdex Cunning. Have I not done Marauder before? Guess we could try that. Definitely done these three a fair bit. Oh yeah, I did a Necromancer just recently. Was that on stream or was that an off stream run? I am a little bit keen. Oh yeah, Oozmancer! I have unlocked it. Okay. It just not, must not have popped up the uh, you unlocked Oozmancer thing. Because I, I remember I did the thing to unlock Oozmancer on a run before, and I, it didn't give me the, the achievement uh, for the clearing the, for the unlocking of the Oozmancer. And I guess I just never bothered to check whether it was actually unlocked. So okay, it didn't give me the achievement, but it still unlocked the class for me. That's fine. Oh, I'm really keen to try this too. These guys, based on like fighting against like ooze enemies with ooze master abilities before, uh, the ooze master seems really fun. So, or at least interesting. So we'll probably give that a shot. Yeah, these guys I played a fair bit. I like all of the defiler classes. Maybe not Demonologist, I never could figure out what to do with them. Mm, the Afflicted are both really fun too. Chronomancers, we've done both of those on stream a fair bit. Oh, that's right, we're missing... What was this again? Oh right, that was the one where we needed to uh, rescue the Yeek Wayist, I think it was. Yeah, that was the one we were going to get on our previous run, but then the bastard aggroed on us for no reason. Did these on stream, they were fun. I haven't done any tinkers yet, but yeah, I'm pretty certain I want to do the Ooze Mancer. Uh, what, what race are we going to do? Halfling Ooze Mancer? I often just randomize my races just because I don't know which one to use. Weirdly enough, I think halflings do best with as uh, melee classes. They got the strength, and the minus strength, which kind of sucks, but the uh, they actually do have plus constitution and a decent amount of life per level. What do the Thalors have? Yeah, 12 life per level, so they're as, as, as you wouldn't think it, but halflings are actually pretty resilient uh, compared to the other races. In fact, out of the starting races, I think only dwarves are, are tougher. And you know, they're... Oh wow, they, and they're not even that much tougher. They have the same life per level. Maybe we try this. Maybe we do a halfling oozmancer. Sure, why not? Halfling oozmancer eroleris. E roll. I hate how the I and the L look the same. Like capital I, lowercase L. Capital I, lowercase L. They're literally the exact same character. I I I I I L L L L L. Whatever. We're just gonna call him wal Walrus because it's easier to say. Oh, was that nightmare difficulty? No, that's right. I did. A f I didn't feel like streaming one day, but I wanted to play, so I did a quick nightmare run. 
This is my first time playing this class, though, so we're not gonna do Nightmare. Right, that was when I, yeah, I did a Nightmare run with a Necromancer. Okay, what do we got? We got, we got, we start with Mind Star Mastery. We start with Anti Magic. Fun. <laughs> start with Wild Gift. Um, Critical Strike, okay. <laughs> I guess the abilities is what determines what class is your, yeah, your your racial generic tree is, uh, yeah, the thing that determines what classes you're best suited for. The, so this is all another thing that makes halflings well suited to uh, being melee attackers. Okay, so we're, I think we're an equilibrium-based class, so we probably want this. Oh, we can actually double the effectiveness of this thing with another point. Oh, you know what? We probably want... I don't know, do we want to max out Psyblades? I don't know what this class is all about, so I guess we'll just do one of each of these for now, and then if it turns out we do a lot of physical attacking, we'll pump more into this. Looks like willpower is probably our main stat here. Yeah, so we'll just put everything into willpower. That's willpower, right? Yeah. Spit Slime, 5 cooldown, that seems kind of bread and butter. Yeah, we probably want a bunch of points into this. This is going to be our main damage dealer. Ooh, it's AoE too? Nice. Okay, so we just like run around leaving a slime trail. I guess we can spend our other three points just on these ones. This is... Ooh, this is a sustain... Ooh. Okay. So we have a chance to spawn ooze. That sounds like fun. Four turns. Yeah, we'll just uh, start like this, get all of our abilities. Just to see what they're like. Okay. So side blades, that's fine there. We're never taking that off. In fact... Oh yeah, uh, mark talent for restart. Or we can unarc it for restart. Okay, we don't want to do meditation. Meditation reduces your damage. You want to enable that uh, when you really want your equilibrium back. Oh, also, we might as well take this. Okay. This was a sustain. This can go up here. Okay, that's not... Oh, and it sticks them, too. Nice. Okay, so you can leave, like, a slime trail behind you at a 20-turn cooldown. Lasts for what? For five turns? That seems not very good. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. On the other hand, yeah, you can just run away from enemies and they'll basically kill themselves. What type of- this has got to be nature damage, all of this. Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of damage. One-shotting trolls. One-shotting trolls! Okay, I'm down with this. Okay, it's not piercing, though. So we don't have any form of AoE or anything. Also, we can wear this, and this. We don't start with any any armor training, so we're gonna have to 
buy that in town at some point. Why do you want to be here, kitty? It's so freaking hot. Oh, can we? Oh, that's right, because we're innately anti-magic. Okay, now I, I have to get you off. This is way too warm. We have like a fur blanket on my legs. Even with the fan. Okay, I, I, apparently I lied. We're just doing a full run right here, straight up. We're good. We'll, do, we'll do a dumb run, and then we'll do like a proper run next time around. Oh, okay, what do we want? What do we want? We want a lot more willpower. And yeah, probably more slime. Oh right, it bounces, so this is AoE. Uh, this stuff... Doesn't reduce the cooldown. Ooh, expanding mucus. So if we are going to put points in this, we definitely want at least four. Oh, and it drains equilibrium. Okay. Haven't actually got to use this yet because we're not taking many hits. This seems potentially really good. The thing is, the way that it uh, yeah, places your other moss talents on cooldown... Although if it lasts three turns, it doesn't matter. This seems like it might be one to invest in. Gonna, still gonna put it into slime spit, though. Also, we seem heavily anti-match, or heavily cooldown based. So I think I am gonna put into Mind Stars. Oh, do mind stars scale with willpower? Oh, it does, yeah, with will and cunning. I guess that settles it. Even more reason to put uh, points into will. Oh, hey, that's my slime. Oh, it bounces even if it misses them. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I was kind of backing up there because I completely forgot that the slime bounces, but yeah. Can it bounce even if it doesn't see them? It's not a... Yeah, for how powerful it is, like, that's a pretty low cooldown, too. Problem is, right now, is we need something else to do while it's on cooldown, but... You know, that'll, that problem will solve itself as we level up. This is weird. It's, yeah, innately anti-magic. I thought that slimes were magical. Like, yeah, they're throwing spells at me all the time when I, like, encounter slimes in the actual game. So if it's not magic, what is this considered? It is a nature gift and a mind power. Okay, so we manipulate the slime with our mind. That's kind of cool. Oh shit, it's Trog. Or Prox, whatever. Which one's Trog? I thought Trog was a boss in this game.
Yeah, I guess we can just kite him forever since the slime uh, slows him down. It's kind of morbid being a halfling and equipping the halfling foot. It's arcane. And also we're a halfling, so that would just be gross. Like hanging, uh, like hanging a human foot around your neck. It's just... Oh wait, no, we want to keep that to get to the anti- or to the magic village. Uh, we take that for sure. Is that any good? No. All right, and we got the level ups. Hey! 106 over 10 turns, that's pretty slow. What's this thing? Acidic explosion, 51 damage in the area. That area being... Oh, radius 2. Interesting. Okay, so this synergizes with the mucus oozes we can spawn. Seems not amazing. Or no, this was the bloated ooze. Mucus ooze. I don't know what a mucus ooze is. Okay, that's these guys. So this synergizes with the next skill in the in the tree? That doesn't seem to make a lot of sense, so I probably don't want to skill this until I have access to this one. That seems weird. Do I have access to that one? No. And again, yeah, the spawning of the bloated oozes is a bit unreliable, and we have to get hit a bunch to... Uh, on them. Oh, but it is actually kind of a defensive talent. All damage you take will be split evenly, split equally between you and them, and they are very res resilient. Someday later, when we're more tanky. Uh, we'll probably start to put more points in that. Oh yeah, this silence is just, yeah, great. This thing's great. Although, actually, like I said, we want to do side blades. Lost circle of radius 2. Bunch of damage. Oh, that seems awesome. Okay. I guess we'll do this anyways, and then just put the rest into slime spit. Or, you know, no, we'll leave one, and, uh... Man, the cooldowns are all so long, too. This actually creates mucus too, so it does synergize with the previous one. I guess we'll take one as a prerequisite. No, I'm just gonna max out the slime. Oh, actually, no, we can put a second point in something else. I don't think that we do want to point in anything else though. It said they have like cunning too. I'll put one in cunning. And two in Vit. I think we'll eventually want a lot of vitality to be able to, you know, have a ton of health and spawn a bunch of those oozes. Just get, like, super tanky. It's pretty much the only way I know how to beat this game is to just get super tanky to the point where you eventually become totally invincible. Like we were with that Solipsist that we just lost. Um, this is going to be a lot of attack talents. Eh, whatever. Oh, this is, uh... 
Uh, yeah, we can cast it away from us. Can we not get our equilibrium, equilibrium below 28? Okay, I don't actually know how equilibrium works. Oh, that's right, it's because we got these sustains, 10 and 18. Oh, now we got a high fail chance. Okay, I'm waiting for him to rush me. I'm leaving this trail of mucus for him, expecting him to rush me, and then he doesn't fucking do it. Whatever. So yeah, I can stick that on him. Oh no. Uh, which of these? Oh yeah, that's the vampiric moss. So we'll, you know what, we'll put these mosses on the alt keys. So we'll start with this one. That'll like snare him or something. Wow, oh, that fail chance goes up real fast. Is this instant? Okay, it is. Cool. Okay, so we, yeah, we can put our slimes in front, meditate, then go disable the meditate after they're done. Uh, we're gonna heal a little bit. There we go. Yeah, this ooze man, sir. Maybe it'll be get maybe maybe it'll get stronger later on. I see there's a lot of potential for synergies among uh, all of its different abilities, and those classes tend to be the ones that have weak early games before you get all of the your synergies working together with your abilities, and then really strong late game once you do have them all working together. Yeah, we'll finish off our mind stars. And now what do we want to work on? Yeah, this mo this uh, mucus just seems weak. I, th I think these oozes will be fun. I'm gonna put points into the uh, oozes. We'll start it with this one, just so we can spawn them more, uh, more easily. Ooh, it scales with cunning, though. That's tricky. Okay, maybe we want to put more points into cunning after all, then. Oh, wow, actually, this moss stuff actually, uh, scales real hard. So I guess those are kind of the two options. We can go oozes and cunning, or mosses and constitution. What are our what are the other mosses we've got? Fail complex actions. I assume that means skills. Chance to confuse. These all seem like decent, but I don't think I want to put a ton of points into them. Or actually, it says it places the other mosses on cooldown. But I think we can have multiples active at once. I'll experiment with that before putting more points into that. Uh, for now, let's just put this in as a prerequisite. And we'll still go Vitality, because fuck it. Like I said, this was... Yeah, this should be a stupid run. Hey! Uh, actually, that's not very good for being a, an artifact... But uh, it's anti-magic, and we're anti-magic, so we'll keep it. And what do we do next? I oh, yeah, probably just go find ourselves a better 
infusion in town. If we can't, then we'll just go to the next dungeon. Uh, slightly better healing, slightly better regen. It's not really worth it. Get the alchemist started as well. You know what? Actually, no, I won't. Uh, alchemists are a waste of time. I'm not expecting to survive that long. We can always do them later once we're uh, once we've expected to possibly have one completed. Check. The, I'll check the infusions here, and then if there aren't any, we'll just uh, go to the elf woods. Okay, that's all crap. Uh, these could be all right. Constitution, scales with magic. We are not pumping magic. Well, this one has the lower cooldown. I mean, we're going to replace it eventually anyways, so yeah, we'll just take that for now. Technically, the other one scales better once we start putting points into cunning, but I don't think we're going to keep it that long anyways. By the time we start putting a bunch of points into cunning, uh, we'll have a better infusion. Actually, we got all of our points in our side blades now. We can just hit shit. Do a bunch of damage that way. Although we also did put a bunch of points into the slime switch, so, so maybe we should use that. What's the range on this thing? Ten range. So it's like we're basically a spellcaster. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting we can cast that from range too. Seriously, just a regular brass lantern? Hostile? Oh, this guy. <laughs> One-shotted. Oh, and he dropped a good mind star for us, too. Maybe? Oh, wait, no, that's compared to the one in our main hand. Actually, let's take that off, move this over. There we go. slime spit them and then charge them because it slows them too so we might as well Ooh, immunities that's a decent start Ooh, an escort quest Ooh, it's a warrior step one to becoming super tanky in this game is get a bunch of warrior escorts fuck does this thing have an aoe I don't think it does. I think we just took a couple big hits. Okay, what the hell hit me there? I took 10 physical damage and all of a sudden... Whatever. Oh shit, yeah, he's still going along. Okay, this is an easy one. Okay, what do we want? Uh, probably Unflinching Resolve. Actually, maybe we want Vitality with this character. Ooh, 10 per turn. Yeah, I think Vitality is actually alright for us right now. Strength, con, gain cold resist, and armor. Worth it. Also, I think I think we definitely take armor training on this character too. 
Oh, it, it doesn't bounce if you miss with it. That sucks. Ouch. Okay, what do we got? Hmm. Yeah, I think we just put more in these slimes here. Oh, more oozes. More oozes with more points. Yes, yes, we do that. Okay, we finished off side blades. I don't think we need the silence until later in the game. We'll do this one for now, because I think our biggest danger is going to be the er some of the early bosses. And a slow will help a lot with that. Also, I think I am going to put it on auto-use when available. Just because it's free. Real estate. Is there an invisible enemy here? Oh, it's on auto-use. Like, all the time. Um, Auto-use when enemies are visible and adjacent. There, that's more like it. Yeah, I just discovered the free real estate meme, like, a few days ago. Oh, it's Arcane. Actually, the equilibrium thing, actually... Yeah, the meditation, it's like I want to auto-use it and then disable it when enemies are visible. Can I have it, like, auto-use on rest? Or actually, I think... Actually, if I read the skill, I think it did say it automatically gets used when you're resting. Yeah, anytime you are resting, you... Okay, recover equilibrium a little bit faster. Good enough. Which way are you going? This is not good terrain for an escort. Oh boy. Uh, improve thorn grab. Maybe. Don't care about dex. Will's alright, but it's just one. Yeah, one will versus a talent point? Hell yeah. I don't even know what that gets for us. Just increases the slow. Oh, and the damage per turn. For 10 turns, okay. We're like a boss killing machine. Sort of, or will be. We got a lot of dots, is what I'm saying. A lot of like slow push damage and disables. And there's you. I keep forgetting how this thing works. It's just a damage over time. Okay, yeah, this is. I think this is how you play a newsmancer. Just keep them sludged up, step back, and yeah, slime, slime, slime. Okay, can we do anything with this? Uh, 
Oh, a bunch of mind stuff. We're all about the nature damage, though. Lose a ton of armor pen. Gain damage when hit. Gain damage we don't care about. Mind power. Lose healing mod. Yeah, forget about that. Uh, this is probably good. Lose a ton of armor and a... Ooh, armor and cold resist versus what? Corrode armor. Ooh, nature penetration. Th nature damage, max life, yes. Barely, yes. Tooth in the mouth? Kind of? Lose two strength. Eh, 15 Blight Thorns. It's good enough. Five Armor Pen. Yeah, we'll take it. It's good enough for now. And I think the next thing we do here... Oh, we need 50... 50 gold to afford armor training. Man, it sucks that our slimes block our slime projectile. I, didn't, I need more stuff. Or actually, let's try this thing. Merge with an adjacent bloated ooze... Granting 40% all damage resist. Mana burn damage in radius 3. Mitosis. Okay. Yeah, let's just do it. Cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I think, yes, the spine slum, uh, spons, slime spawning talents could be a good way to go. Okay, what's the next? What do we got access to now? Okay, we got to sustain. Three cost sustain. Okay, so that's just ten acid thorns. Decent. Let's turn there's a 19%. Okay, here we go. This, that's the mucus ooze thing. So this is like a summoning class, kind of. Could go like all in mucus oozes, all in ooze oozes. What do they call them? Bloated oozes. Just have like ooze all over the place. That could be fun. And then uh, we need two points for that though. Maybe at level ten, I'll put two points. Just like skip over to this one. Uh, this one. Of less than the maximum number of oozes, up to one will be created with 80 life. Oh, so we can just summon ooze at will. That'll be better once we get more maximum oozes. Ah, uh, that's not amazing. Oh, seriously? Is two the best we can ever do? Tempted to just put this one up. Just because it's like the only other spell nuke we've got. Okay, I think the strategy here is, yeah, we just get super tanky. What does this do? Bleeding. I think we just get some free healing here. Is that free? Yep. Oh no, it's cost equilibrium. Man, we got we got a lot of like we kind of have mana problems with this class. Weirdly enough, it's like everything we want to do costs equilibrium, and it goes up like pretty quick. Okay, ten thorns is a lot this early in the game. I think we'll actually take that. What do we even have right now? Damage when hit, like 25. We deal... Yeah, we deal like 25 attack damage right now, so we deal about as much damage when they hit us as when we hit them. Mind Star of the Jelly, that sounds fun, but... Well, we compared that earlier, that thing actually sucks. Okay, at level 8, I think we're ready for the Lumberjack Village. Ah. 
Oh yeah, these things... Radius 2, and then it goes up to 4. Oh, 3. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's worth putting points in those. Did that hit him? Hmm. Uh, this is going badly. This is going very badly. I should probably not have come here. Oh, it's fine. He's slowed now. There we go. Phew. That was the... Yeah, toughest lumberjack village I've had in a while. Uh, River's Fury is arcane. Can't do anything with that. I think we're still missing a bunch of equipment. It's hard to equip an anti-magic guy. It's like, at least if you're magic-based, you have the choice of equipping anti-magic stuff if you want. It's a bit risky, but you can do it. But yeah, being anti-magic just cuts off a bunch of equipment options from you. Not to mention runes. Ooh, 98 healing. And minus four cooldown and scales with willpower. Fuck. Oh, and yeah, we, we still got, uh, still got 50 left over. Was it more than 50? I'm looking for... generic weapons. Cool. Uh, so once we get... Oh, wow, where it's gonna take us a while to get the strength for that once again. Can we start pumping that up sooner rather than later, though? Whereas the Solipsist could kind of get by with his natural defenses. I think the Oozmancer is going to want... Or I don't know, although now that I think of it, armor will reduce the damage we take, which will reduce the strength of the oozes we spawn. So I think what we actually want is tons of HP and percentage-based healing effects. Let's do the last tier one dungeon. Okay, I didn't want to turn this into like a real run. Let's just blitz this until we die. fast here. Okay, that's not worth putting more points in. Yeah, just summon oozes when we want them. That seems potentially strong. Okay, mm, I'll put one more point in this and then that'll let me put the next point in to see if we get a third ooze at, uh, at level 5. If we don't, then it won't be worth uh, putting any more points into that. That silence, I'm actually going to just take an opportunistic point in the silence there, just because it'll be good against the boss of this area. Look at that, that mouse almost killed himself just by touching me. Yeah, I don't even need to hit these guys, they'll just kill themselves just by touching me. Awesome. The only downside so far, I've noticed... Oh, it's arcane. Boo. Oh, that's our first uh, bit of armor. Don't have the strength for it. I'll keep it around anyways. Because I think we're going to have the strength for it on our next level up. Ooh, pendant. 
It's a blank. That's actually decent. Keep it for now. I don't think we're gonna have heavy armor training by the time we can actually use that. Or, what am I saying? Uh, by the time we have heavy armor training, I think we will have a better helmet. There, that was the sentence that I meant by whatever the hell I just said before that. Yeah, there's almost no danger in these early areas. I gotta, like, uh, get my efficiency up. Just be more time effective with these early areas where there's no danger. Especially when you're doing, like, your third tier one. You're way overleveled for this shit. With any character. Ooh. Bunch of stuff. Moths of slime. That sounds promising. Ooh, Will, that's good. That's all good. Okay, of slime. Oh yeah, that's the rare one in the one slot. Gain power, lose armor pen. Ooh, global speed slow, that's all right. That's it? Or I guess slime probably just means slow then. Uh, I don't think that's worth losing the armor penetration. Oh, 3% nature damage? Ooh, plus 3% nature damage. I'm taking it. All the other garbage is worth it for the extra nature damage. Probably, for all I know. I mean, yeah, we do all nature damage with all of our skills. What's the radius on this thing right now? Radius 5... Two, three, four, five. Is he immune to silence? Or is he out of range? He isn't immune to silence. Okay, we're gonna rest and try that again. Okay, let's try that again. Did he get silenced? Yes! Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, right, the bounce. I forgot about the bounce. Okay, so we got a copper ring. That's free. It's arcane, and it's useless anyways. Uh, this is better than nothing. It's arcane. Okay, mule. That doesn't sound arcane. Eh, whatever. A bit of frost resist. Better than nothing. Well, that'll actually be good for uh, one of the bosses coming up. And the uh, corporal guy, I think, is all about uh, the cold damage. Man, I have, like, no willpower. I was not gonna stream this late. I was not even going to do another run. I was going to do I don't know, dishes or something. Whatever. There's actually still plenty of time to do stuff before bed. Did another guy... Did another of those guys just teleport in after I killed the first one? Okay, we've got a few potentially decent items here. I'll just... I think we're just about done this area. Yeah. Now let's check all the goodies. Useless. Useless. Okay, we're just like, yeah, super resistant to cold then. No good, no good. Better... Better than nothing. I think we don't have any boots yet. Yeah, so that's better than nothing. That's... Ah, uh, it's arcane. That's... A lot of stuff for a, just a magical lamp, too. Man, our, all the best stuff is arcane. Well, well, we still, well, we've still got all of our 
ice resist equipment, I might as well uh, go into uh, yeah into core pull. Oh the oh uh, hey fast yellow uh, the Sonic movie uh, I'm not really that excited for it uh, it'll probably be dumb and you know it'll probably be entertaining for that reason but and I'll see it but I'm not excited for it or anything like it's just I don't know I will put it to you this way I won't be upset if it ends up not coming out somehow. I, I will live without it if that ends up being how things end up. But, you know, I'll still watch it and probably find some entertainment in it. Fuck. Okay. Level 10. Also, yeah, I see that question was posted a few minutes ago. I was preoccupied with Maje all related things. These guys are like nature resistant, aren't they? Oh, acid resistant. In that case, uh, yeah, fuck them. Oh yeah, I can, uh, Take my level up now. Oh yeah, we've even got uh, possible talent trees here to consider. Oh, that's a activated ability. I thought that would be a sustain. Ooh, nature resistance. That's all right. We deal acid damage. We actually deal nature damage to enemies by default, so that's not innately useful. Okay, these have all basically the same symbols here. Is this a glitch or are they just lazy? Channel acid, channel slime. Okay, so these are like the same abilities basically. It's just one is slime, one is nature. Oh, and it looks like these are meant to be taken together. Also, slime. I didn't realize slime damage was a thing. Wait, so this is a beam? That's actually potentially really powerful. Oh, and this this one disarms them though, so this one just seems straight up better. Deal nature damage to a creature. Bonus acid damage. Yeah, these still go together. These go together. So this gives you like nature damage. This gives you acid damage, and they kind of enhance each other. So we need two category points to start doing that. Yep. It seems like a heavy investment. What's this other one? Oh, and this does nature and acid damage. So it looks like these three are meant to all go together. Like, this ability synergizes with both of these two. These trees synergize with each other. And this seems pretty weak. All of these are... Actually, this slime tree seems like oh, it could be alright. Uh, we are in pretty heavy with the bloated oozes, so maybe we do go with the acid damage. Ooh, this actually this ability here actually sound seems pretty fun. Go upon the earth, blinding corrosive, blinding corrosive cloud. Ooh, and burns away beneficial magic effects. And this is all just better healing. Let's 
Tough call. I think we'll take this one. This just seems straight up better. And I was saying how we want uh, like another cooldown ability to use when our other thing is on cooldown. Also, yeah, this is a three second cooldown. I think we do want both of these trees. Like, yeah, just more nukes. They synergize with each other. Maybe I shouldn't have put like any points in my starting talents. Sounds ridiculous, but... Oh yeah, we don't get three bloated oozes. Two is the maximum forever. That's garbage. Okay, so we'll put a point in that, I guess. Start working our way towards uh, heavy armor training as well. Okay, so this is going to be one of our main nukes. So we'll put it on three. Oh, right, that guy's, yeah, acid resistant. Perfect timing on learning that ability. But yeah, it's going to do pretty low damage to start off with. Oh, wait, what about this? Oh, right, that one merges with the oozes, and this one summons them. Oh, yeah, I still have my starting robe, uh, so whatever this is can replace it. Yep, easy switch. Is this one any good? Why is it that every Mind Star I find has less armor penetration than the one I've got? Okay, I don't want to lose the, ma the nature damage. Ooh, this has potential. Stir Mag. Oh, but we lose Will, so that's not really worth it. Lose Resistances. Blight Penetration, which we don't care about. No, this thing sucks. Also, yeah, we're done with pickaxes now, too. Can we equip hunt? Oh, yeah, we still need heavy armor training for the spell hunt remnants. Oh, this isn't actually the area that I... Whoa! I think this is alternate corporal. Um. Yeah, let's go with this. summon the oozes which apparently died immediately oh this, speaking of died immunity uh, immediately yeah there we go oh is that sludge grip nice oh also this thing sucks let's get rid of it oh yeah we don't even have gloves right now so yeah that's easy wild gift slime Ooh, this could be all right. Lose lightning resist, lose lightning damage. Lose immunities. That's a bit fucked up. Ooh, mind damage, though. Oh, of course, yeah, it's a Hat of Madness. Okay, this has got to be like a new property from the new expansion, then. Um, minus Confusion Immunity is really, really bad, but that active ability is pretty cool, so I'll take it. And yeah, that's all we got. Wait, why can't I use my laser? Oh, I'm disarmed because the laser comes from the side blades. That explains it. Okay, that's all the stuff. If I just sorted through. 
Okay, looks like we're gonna have a real run of this, so I think we'll just run through the rest of the tier twos and then call it a night. Oh yeah, I can, uh, I forgot about this, I can do the arena. What am I even gonna spend the generics on? Oh, also, yeah, what was the Wild Gift Slime Tree? Okay, so that's this one up here. So we've got a lot of, yeah, effective extra talent points here. Extend Slimy Roots, follow them, and reappear somewhere else in range 4 with error margin of 3. That is really lame. Ooh, talents off cooldown. That is potentially crazy. Uh, we are probably gonna put at least one point in that, probably more. Wow. Wow. I think the poison is just going to take him out. Yep. Oh, he survived. Wow. Turns out that, yeah, all we needed was one more spell uh, to make the Oozmancer kind of ridiculous. Do we even care about the other half, about the entire halfling generic tree at all? Okay, this last one here is crazy. We definitely, definitely want that eventually, but we can't get it to level 24. Guess this thing's alright. Two of your wild gifts of tier one or less. So that's basically these two. Actually, no, that's all my wild gifts, so that's like any of these. Reset the cooldowns. Oh, tier one means the not the, the amount of skill points you've put in, but... I don't think we have any actives at uh, tier one or less. This is a passive, sustain, sustain. The best thing we could do is activate this is if our sustains get uh, taken out. Oh yeah, speaking of which, I don't think it's, no, we definitely don't want another 30 equilibrium sustain. 179, 230. I think 179 is enough for healing for now. I mean, I guess we'll just take these as prerequisites, I guess. No, we can find something better to do. Yeah, I guess this here has potential. We'll do that and... This, I guess? Radius 7 isn't amazing. Although it'll be useful if we get blinded, so yeah, we'll take that. Um, what were we doing? Oh yeah, uh, the rest of the tier twos. Oh wow, we've got yeah a bunch of new actives after that. Uh, oh yeah, this is our new hat. Wow. Way off on that one. Let's try that again. That's fine. Smash your side blades, blah blah blah, bleed. I'll just, yeah, stick it there. This bouncing slime thing is so good. And I think I might even spend my next category point on the... Uh, on the the other tree, the slime one, too.
Okay, yeah, we've got a lot of uh, cooldown abilities that are kind of awesome now. Yeah, the difference between like having one low cooldown spammable spell versus having two is kind of insane. It's like we're doubling our DPS, basically. Uh, let's just, yeah, absorb that. Cores fall, arcane, garbage. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, before we do any of this, ooh, that might be worth it. Uh, it probably isn't, actually. Nope. But I do want to see if we can get our heavy armor training yet. Oh, actually, no. Not even close. Uh, generic. I guess we can get started on the, the halfling stuff. Yeah, I think we'll just put more points into our main nuke. I think Kornik would be a good Oozmancer class to try, because then, yeah, we'd have that starting generic point to get us through the, uh, or starting category point to get us through the early game a little bit more cleanly. And then at level 10, yeah, we'd just have both trees to work with straight up, save up a bunch of our skill points, and then, yeah, go to town on Slime, Corrosive Blades, and Oozing Blades. Probably ignore these trees and go high up on the ooze, too, to get super tanky. Or maybe that's like an awful build, I don't know. Again, this is our first time running an ooze mouncer, so... No idea what the good builds are for this class. Just saying all of that out loud about the Kornik and the two category points on two very similar skill trees kind of sounds really dumb yeah saying it out loud like that whoops it's not really what i had in mind there are they fighting Shotting everything. Okay, not this guy. That guy took three shots. Yeah, it's like we nuke them from afar. And then once they get up close to us, they're still dead, because we've got good melee capabilities, too. You know, I just want to summon some slimes on this guy. any of this. We could use this. I think this might actually be better. Oh no, we lose stats. Get worse damage. Yeah, that's no good. Okay, this is better than nothing. That's no good. Okay, we'll do one more thing. We'll do trapped. We'll do trapped, and then I'll go do stuff. Productive stuff before the night is over. It's not really that much productive stuff I want to do. I want to do dishes, and I want to get another book on my e-reader. 
before work tomorrow. Hmm. Oh dear. Okay, uh, this could be the end right here. Oh, we are asleep and unable to move. Okay, uh, yeah, let's absorb the slime. Uh, that's a bit messed up. Uh, so we're dazed and disarmed, which means we can't use our laser anymore. Ouch. I think I'm actually just gonna preemptively hit this here. Okay, he's still alive somehow. Oh, that explains everything. He's a psychic gunner guy. Okay, that's him dead. Level 12, was that two levels in one go? No. Oh, but with level 12, okay, we can do this shit now. Uh, long cooldown, but still pretty awesome. Extends the range, lowers the error margin. Yeah, we're definitely putting more points into that. Definitely, definitely more points in slime roots. Now, if we can find any strength giving equipment. Yeah, this still seems pretty... Oh, any of your wild gifts of tier 1 or less, that, uh... That includes our other active abilities. Uh, that's pretty crazy. Okay, it's on, yeah, 50 turn cooldown, obviously, but... Okay, um, all of this stuff is awesome. Uh, so what do we do? Oh, also, these are instant. I should be using these in every fight. Yeah, uh, this one, yeah, just auto-use when visible and adjacent. And then if we're in trouble, uh, we'll use the other one. Uh, yeah, that's reasonably convenient. We'll stick this one down a bit. Actually, no, we'll put the teleport on Alt-1. That's one we'll probably want easy access to. Yeah, that's a, I think this is a fine setup. Okay, and some gauntlets of dexterity. Okay, what's with the, what's with the enemies getting hard all of a sudden? Bandit tunnel is not supposed to be difficult. I think it's probably because I've been slacking off on uh, constitution and putting my points into strength, which is really not a useful stat for that cl this class. I'm solely doing it for uh, the uh, heavy armor training. Oh, oof. Okay, so this is obviously for psychic classes. Psionic, kinetic, yeah. But, um, it's still pretty awesome. We'll lose armor pen, lose slow, lose nature damage. Oh, that makes us lose acid burst. Yeah, we'll definitely take this on the offhand. Ooh, regen infusion, and how? Um, yeah, even with the plus four cooldown, I think it's worth it. Um, is this better? Lose damage, melee, light blind, gain a bunch of stats, including strength. That gets us armor training, like, right away without having to spend more stats. 
So, like, I think we just take it regardless into our inventory at the very least. Just so we don't have to spend more stat points. Uh, this is alright. We lose mental save, mind power, mental crit. Yeah, um, we'll take that. I didn't care if I hadn't carelessly spent all of my generic points. What the fuck is this? Oh shit. What did, what got us this? Oh this thing. Plus one psionic maelstrom. For the next eight turns. For the next eight turns for 97 damage. I don't even care that this guy's like wobbling me for all of my It's not working. Oh, actually, yes, it is. It's just he has a lot of health. Um, oh, I'm stunned. What the fuck am I doing? So I've been dealing re reduced damage all this time. Which is why we're sucking so much right now. Guess we'll pop this. There we go. Uh, let's, does this cost a turn? Oh, it does. I don't care. Okay, so that gets us this shit back. Actually, now that I think of it, I don't know if getting our random cat talents off cooldown is that good for us. It's better when we don't have this reabsorb on cooldown. It's bit, yeah, basically best if we can get our nukes back. Yeah, I'm afraid that's going to reflect and hit the merchant. There we go, good stuff. Again, I'm still afraid it's going to reflect and hit the merchant. Okay, that was pretty easy. No level ups, though, although I guess we just got one recently. Ooh, that's promising. Lose max life, gain armor, gain armor pen, and all resistance pen, and light radius. But we've been having some problems with our health pool, so I'm not going to take that. Man, now I want to level up for armor training, like, right now. But we're not going to. Uh, so the next order of business is probably going to be the forest. Yeah, we're going to do the forest next. And that'll be not the next stream, but the next, like, non-Lamulana stream. So yeah, like I said, we're going to have, like, another boring... Like, look at all the stuff again, take all of the t all of the notes again. La Mulana stream, probably all weekend. It's probably gonna take all of my available streaming time over the weekend to uh, do all of that. But hey, if, if we do it, and put in the effort and the time and everything, uh, we will maybe someday eventually be able to solve a puzzle and beat a boss again. It's been a long, long time since we've solved a puzzle or beaten a boss in La Mulana 2. Or who knows, I'll, I'll probably be reviewing my notes at work. Yeah, looking over the video and reviewing my notes at work too, so maybe I'll think of something to try before tomorrow's stream too, but that's gonna do it. We're gonna park right in front of the woods. And, uh, yeah. So yeah, well, there's, I'm not, and again, I'm not gonna guarantee a stream tomorrow. Weekends are kind of a, maybe if I feel like it after work type thing. But, uh, yeah, in the events that I do end up streaming tomorrow, it'll be La Mulana 2 and all of that stuff that I said. In the meantime, in the meantime, uh, today's stream VODs will be up on the YouTube channel, along with all the previous stream VODs and YouTube Let's Play stuff. And you can follow me on Twitter or here on Twitch if you would like to know 
when I am going live. Usually I give like a 10, yeah, usually about 10, 15 minutes notice before the streams. Uh, yeah, that's all. Good night. Thanks for watching and see you next time.